What's up guys, it's Matchbox Madness and I'm here today with a very special review. Today we are taking a look at the exclusive models for the 16th annual Matchbox Gathering of Friends or the 2018 Matchbox Convention, either works. Anyways, these two cars in front of you were exclusive to that event. You could only get them if you attended or um, unless you buy them on eBay after the event. However, um, they're super cool this year. I can't wait to unbox them and look at them. There is a dinner model and a dealer model each year. The dinner model also comes with a variation, so technically there are three different cars, two different castings. The first one you see in front of you, the Datsun 510 Rally, that was the dealer model this year. If you buy a table to sell cars at the toy show on the Sunday of the event, you get the dealer model, you can purchase one. That's the only way you can purchase it at the event. After that, the only way you're gonna get it is in aftermarket places like eBay, or if someone else happens to be selling it somewhere else. And then the Ford F-350 was this year's dinner model. There is a variation on that card. You can see that as it goes around, it is all gold. That is the less rare variation. You got that version if you were not one of the first 75 people to sign up for the dinner which I was not, unfortunately. There is a rarer variation that is not gold, but it is, is instead Zamac, uh, so it looks silver, but it's Zamac, so it's unpainted. Personally, I've seen the two in person, and I prefer, prefer the gold model. The Zamac doesn't look as good as the gold. The gold just looks a lot better, and it pale, uh, it pairs a lot better with the 510, I think. So um, anyways, that's enough looking at them in the display cases. We're gonna go ahead and take them out of the boxes and screw them off their bases. Um, I want to get some photo photos of these things loose. The bases, um, they don't look great for photos in just the video. You don't get a good sense of what the car really looks like. The car just looks better on the ground. I'll put them back in their display cases when I'm done because it is a better way to display them. Anyways, here's the Ford F-350 top, Ford Skyjacker Super Duty, so the name of the car on the top there, and this year's logo on the right. Let's go ahead and unscrew this guy. You can see the dots in 510 going around. Uh, like I did not purchase a uh, table this year, or I haven't actually any year, any of the years I've been there, I haven't purchased a table. However, one vendor was selling his, um, so I went ahead and jumped on it because it's a fairly good price. Um, I have a feeling the dots in 510 is going to be fairly expensive on eBay um, in days to come and just months and years to come in general. I haven't seen one pop up on eBay yet. Um, I have not seen it happen, um, but when I do, I will watch it closely to see what it goes for. Last year, I ended up with two Skylines. I put one on eBay and it went for something like $270, $280. It, they, they, some of these models go insane prices and especially the 510, I'm expecting to see that because the 510 is such uh, just massive models. Probably the most popular car in die cast today. I mean, Hot Wheels makes 510s and some of those go for crazy prices. I can see the same happening with Matchbox. I can remember last year when they released the just the mainline version of the 510, people went nuts. And then the JCCS version just added to the hype. Anyways, enough talking about the 510. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Ford F350 Sky Jacker truck for right now. And boy, does this thing look really good. I'll be honest, when I first saw these models, I was a little unsure. Um, I wasn't quite sure it was going to work. Um, first off, I saw the Ford F-350, and the first thing I saw, I didn't see the actual car first. I saw a postcard with the car on it, and you didn't see the gold on the card. On the car, on the postcard it came on, it wasn't gold, it was yellow, so it looked really ugly. Like the blue, the yellow, and the gray, they just did not match up. And I was like, oh man, they messed it up. But then I went ahead, got the actual model, unboxed it, and I was pretty much sold. But real quick, a funny story on this model. I wasn't originally handed the gold variation. I accidentally ended up with the rare variation, the Zamac variation, the silver car. So at first I was sitting there, I was like, oh man. I was like, this is super sick. And then slowly I realized I didn't have the less rare variation. I had the rare variation, so I had to go and turn it in. I then had to go and get the actual gold car. But um, I, I, like I said, I prefer the gold to the Zamac version. I just think it looks a lot better. It just, it just pops more for me. Um, the silver didn't pair too well with the gray wheels. It just looked kind of bland. With the gold on the side, it looks absolutely fantastic. Then you get that metallic blue. And man, it just looks really good. You get the blue cab, a bunch of deco. Let's go ahead and actually take a look at some of this deco. 
On the hood, you see you get the Matchbox 65th anniversary logo. That's because they're celebrating 65 years. Next year is another milestone for Matchbox because they are celebrating 50 years of Superfast. Superfast is uh, one of their really big premium lines, so I can't wait to see that. There's some super cool models coming in that line that were previewed at the convention. On the side, you can see you get the Matchbox series logo. That's a throwback to the old Matchbox logo from the Lesney days, from when they were first started, located in Great Britain, um, and it was the early 50s when this brand first came about. It says a 2018 collector product. I believe that would, um, if you looked at an older car, it would say Matchbox series, a Lesney product. Um, in this case, it says a 2018 collector product because this is exclusive to the 2018 collector's gathering. On the back, it says official gathering dinner model, obviously, because that's what it is. It says six, there's the number 16 because that is the six. Or uh, this is the 16th Matchbox Gathering of Friends. It says Adler 58. That is a uh, Michael Geralda signature um, logo that he puts on all the cars he designs. Anyways, Michael Geralda designed the deco for this call, uh, car. He's a veteran when it comes to designing cars. Odds are you probably have um, a car that he's designed the deco for. He's been designing for Hot Wheels and Matchbox for years. Okay, real quick, I'm going to have to pull out my sheet to make sure I state all these correctly. Every year they give you a little sheet telling you what everything means for the most part. You can see all the logos there just blown up for you. Anyways, let's go back to the model and look at it real quick. Some of the more deco. You get the Skyjacker logo because this is the Skyjacker truck. You get a logo there that says Jim. I can't see it on the camera what it says. Um, on the blown up version, it says Jim Exhaust Systems. I assume the Jim is a reference to Jim Gallegos who puts on the event every year. He um, is the one who sets up um, and puts on the whole Matchbox Gathering of Friends. So um, that's obviously probably a reference to him. And then the J-J-A-K, I'm not sure exactly what that is mentioning. I have, I, I, it's, I'm gonna see if it's on the Dotson 510 as well. Give me a second here. D okay, um, I don't know exactly what that is. My best guess, actually no, I'm not sure what the J AK stands for or the JGAK stands for so if you do know let me know in the comments down below I would love to know I don't recognize that logo I don't know if it's paying tribute to anyone so I'm sorry about that but that is the Ford F-350 and real quick I will show you the poster that came with it this year oh, I'm kind of zoomed in here let me zoom out for you guys zoomed out a little too far there you go I got it signed by Michael Geraldo, who, as I said, designed the deco for this car. So that is the Ford F-350. Next, we're going to take a look at the Datsun 510 Rally. That is the name of the car, again, with the convention logo on the top. On the back of it, I have it signed by Abe Lugo. Yeah, Abe Lugo, he is the head of the Matchbox design team. I got to meet him for the first time this year. Super chill dude. I talked about him a lot in my vlog on my main channel. Anyways, he also designed the deco for this, or he designed the deco for this car. So Herolda did the Ford F-350. Abe Lugo designed the deco for the Datsun 510 Rally. And I believe Abe Lugo is responsible for designing both of these cars beforehand as well. I believe... Um, he was the head of the Matchbox design team when both of these cars came out. So um, he's done a lot of great work for Matchbox. Um, he's done a great job of bringing Matchbox, uh, Matchbox, bringing a lot of realism and realisticness back to Matchbox, um, which is super cool. Um, he's done a lot of great castings. The Datsun 510 is probably his most popular. Um, I was talking about the popularity beforehand. It's just really starting to become one of those cars that's just beloved by the collector community, which is kind of weird because when it first came out, no one really cared about it. The early releases of the Datsun 510 were peg warmers, if you can believe it, and now you can find them on eBay going for 20, 30, 40 bucks at a time. So uh, talk about a turn of events, you know? Don't start off as a big car, but all of a sudden, everybody wants you. Matchbox got in on it with the 510 Rally last year. The first release, we saw a orange version. It got a premium release as a JCCS car, which I believe is a Japanese... It's like a Japanese car, sh or car show. Um, Matchbox did a booth there. Um, it was super cool. Um, the premium version of it just looks really, really good. Um, it has side, top, and front deco. Um, unlike the regular version, which just has the top deco, um, it looks good. We got a second release in the main line this year um, in a nice maroon. It looks really good as well. 
Anyways, enough talk about the previous releases. Let's go ahead and talk about the newest release of the Datsun 510, the dealer exclusive model to the Matchbox convention. And again, another fantastic looking car. Real quick, before I forget about it, I'm gonna show the poster for this one as well, which I also got at the convention. Here it is. It's also signed by, uh, this is also signed by A. Blue Girl. I got a bunch of stuff signed by him this year. I think I got the car, the poster, and the e-sheet, all signed by Abe. Anyways, this is a really awesome car, and it looks really, really good. Again, sporting the gold and blue chrome, just like the Ford F-350 was. This is the second year in a row that the Matchbox um, exclusives have matched in terms of deco. Um, that isn't a thing that typically happens, um, at least in years past. Um, last year was the first time the dealer model and the dinner model had both had matching decos. This year marks the second time in a row it's happened. Personally, I like it. Um, it, it adds value to the car, or it, for me, it makes me want to get both cars more, just so you can kind of have the set of them. Um, the Datsun looks really good. You get a blue base, blue interior. Um, if you go ahead and you want to take a look at the deco, again, very similar to the Ford get the 65th anniversary, the match, the vintage Matchbox logo, the throwback logo on the side, Dotson right there, 16 on the side, obviously, because it's the 16th annual gathering. Um, on the roof, you get detail. I mean, look at that, the red chrome, the gold chrome, the black detailing on the roof rack looks really good. Love to see it. The Dotson is at its best when the detailing is on the roof rack. The side deco looks cool, but um, when you detail the roof rack, it really brings uh, more life to the car. I think personally, we get the 65th Matchbox Anniversary logo, the Matchbox logo too, the 16, um, the 2018 Diecast Convention logo. Again, you get that Jim Deco paying tribute to Jim Gallegos who puts on the event. And you can see just below the 65th anniversary logo, it says, I'm gonna bring up the e-sheet so I can get this completely right because it's a little blurry on the camera there. It says, Abe7090. That is Abe Lugo's logo. If you write out the last part, the 7090, you flip the seven upside down and around and you flip the nine upside down and around, it spells Lugo, which is his last name. So that's pretty um, cool. Um, personally, I think that's a neat way to kind of sneak your name in there without just beating over the head, beating you over the head with it and making it super obvious. And that's one thing I really do like about Matchbox. They like to add little Easter eggs into their cars. They put like their logo or they'll put their custom logos in there or sometimes they'll sneak a collector's name in there that's um, done a lot for the hobby, stuff like that. So it's just really cool in general. And one last thing that I haven't talked about that you both, you may have noticed on both models, let's put them together because we have to have both cars together, is the gray wheels. That's really unique. You don't usually see tires from or wheels from Matchbox or Hot Wheels that aren't black. They're usually just black plastic unless they're the crazy looking fantasy cars, but even Matchbox for the most part keeps black wheels. In this case, they decided to go with gray, and I believe that's because they're paying tribute to vintage Matchbox, which is basically what this entire, all these uh, cars are about. They have the vintage Matchbox logos, they have the gray wheels paying tribute to the vintage Matchbox cars because it is Matchbox 65th anniversary, and they're celebrating the heritage and the history of the brand. So I think that is really cool. They both look really, really good together. Um, I like them a lot personally. Um, in terms of which one I think is better, uh, it's, it's really hard for me to say. Personally, the Datsun does look really good, but I think I do prefer the Ford just a little bit more. They both look really good, but for me, I think the Ford just, it, it's, it's a little cooler. Um, just because the Datsun does look a little crowded and just a little too flamboyant at points and i think that's just because it's a smaller car with the ford since it's so big it's this massive truck everything is spread out with the Datsun, the gold chrome and the matchbox logo and the detailing on the top and the back it all just starts to run together the matchbox the only place you can really put or the Datsun, the only place you can really put stuff is on that back bumper and as a result it gets kind of crowded but with the Ford, you have this whole back extension piece. You have that whole cab area to put uh, deco on. And for that reason, it's spread out a little better. Um, and it just works better for me. All in all, they're both fantastic models. Um, I mean, it's you can't judge this like you would a regular Matchbox model because these are premium models. People are going to be playing 
at the convention, it, um, you pay $80 for a ticket. So an $80 ticket will buy you this car. If you want to buy second versions of the car, it'll run you 30 bucks. If you want to buy the dealer car, it'll run you 30, 40 bucks. So you can put a lot more work into these cars with a lot more deco. And as a result, they're a very premium version of the model. Um, personally, I, 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 in terms of like exclusive, just dealer cars, I'd probably put it around a 9 out of 10. They aren't absolutely perfect for me. Like I said, when I first saw the cars, I was a little unsure. I thought Matchbox might have screwed it up. They didn't. I mean, and only Matchbox could pull off blue chrome with gold chrome, gray wheels, and blue base or blue uh, interiors. Like, that. that's absolutely ins insane to try and pull that off, and Matchbox managed to do that, so a lot of respect to them, especially when you throw in um, the yellow logo and the black and uh, white and red uh, trim. Um, it's just a wacky combination of colors, but they managed to make it work. And a lot of respect to Michael Geralda and Abe Lugo for pulling that off. That's very cool. So yeah, around a 9 out of 10 is what I'd give these cars. Neither of them are my favorite casting, but the Deco do does elevate them. Um, in terms of the versions of the cars we've seen so far, this is my favorite Datsun 510 Rally, and it's my favorite Ford F350 that we've seen up to this point. That's not to say it couldn't be topped. The other thing I really like about Matchbox Premium uh, cars is they keep plastic wheels. I know that sounds weird to say because everyone wants to see rubber tires. Personally, I'm not a big fan of rubber tires. I think plastic wheels do the job perfectly well. And in this case, I really like them and I think they do a good job. Compared to last year's gathering exclusives, uh, um, they're, they're, it's about the same for me. I like the Skyline and the VW. I wasn't a big fan of the Hot Wheels Real Riders on them. I think Matchbox, if they're doing their cars, should do all Matchbox stuff. Um, but that was my only complaint really with those. I like the deco on them both. But um, yeah, compared to last year, about the same. I both really like them. They aren't quite perfect, but um, I'll definitely keep them in my collection and treasure them forever. So thank you guys so much for watching. This is a really big review because honestly, we're reviewing some really big cars for a really big event. Um, so that's all for now, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all later. Peace.